And don't worry about it. What I we said was this. What I said was this. When you have a service, <laughs> we want to make sure we start on time. One, that we don't have to rush the man or woman of God. Okay, so let me finish talking in my house. I don't give a damn about your house. God bless you, sir. That's not how you order. Like I and said, that's not your fault. God bless you, Trust and believe me, I know it. God bless you, sir. There are souls that are still here trying to be free. And I didn't say that she didn't have to stop I don't give a damn about no damn God. time limit. God bless you, sir. Who are you to tell God he can't do what he got to do? God bless you, sir. We thank you for coming. When you leave out, please watch out for the step. God bless you. Because that don't make no damn sense. And you a bishop in the Lord's church? Here's his towel, ma'am. God bless you. Don't put your hands on my shit. God bless you. God bless you. Time's up. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again. Hit y'all with another video. Hope y'all having a very great day. Hope y'all had a great weekend. My day is going absolutely marvelous. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Pennsylvania by way of Philadelphia. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Pennsylvania, everybody outside the great city of Philadelphia. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you out to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. And as you all may know, yes, today is Messy Monday. And this story has hot Miss written all over it. Now I want to ask you all this before I dig deeper to this video and also deeper to Pastor Tariq. Because Pastor Tariq, you know, sir, you was clearly out of line. You too big to be getting mad in church with that damn robot. You're going to mess around and pass out. Yes. Now let me ask you all this today, you saints and sinners out there. Yes, I know I'm talking to good and bad folks today. Now, to you saints and sinners out there, if this was your church and you invited a pastor to come speak at your church and a pastor acted like this towards you, would you invite his ass back? Yes, his ass back into your church. I'm sure some of you all would not. Because at the same time, you got to understand this right here. Look here. It's a time and a place for everything. And it's a certain way to do things. Like that old Keith Sweat song. It's a right and a wrong way. Look, somebody said to love somebody. That's right. But at the same time, sir and ma'am, whoever said that, it's a right and a wrong way to do things in life. Now, as the video first started off, and don't worry about it. What I we said was this. What I said was this. When you hear Bishop, and I don't know Bishop last name, but Bishop, if you want to chime in because the video is already viral, you are Tariq, please chime in. You can hit me up in the email. And guess what? I will get you on the show and we can talk it out and see what's really going on. Now, as you all see, the bishop is up basically talking to his congregation, trying to calm the situation down. Because what happened is this right here. Pastor Tariq rented the church out from 7 to 10 p.m. But unfortunately, Pastor Tariq was late to church that day. Now, think about this, family, before we dive a little deeper. Now, if, if you rent a place out, guess what? You have to show up at a certain period of time, right? Because you cannot sit there and expect a place to let you stay in their building longer than what you already rented it out for. So that was the whole premise, the whole conflict of this whole video was the fact that Tariq rented the church out from 7 to 10, 3 hours, and he showed up, people say, roughly around 7.45. Now think about this. We already know some of these churches, these black churches, let's just be for real, because I was raised in the church of God in Christ. Look here. I remember back in the day. When church used to start at 11, guess what? It's probably over at 12. We didn't got to church sometime at damn near one thirty. I used to be so mad. Guess what, though? I'll come back the next Sunday. I used to be so damn mad, messing up my damn football schedule. That was back when the Cowboys was good, but we ain't nothing no more. But anyway, now, so you already know that around a certain period of time, guess what? We got to start wrapping things up. So lo and behold, Pastor Tariq came in with that notion that he was going to sit there and take as long as he wanted to, but Bishop had other plans. Now, look here. I don't know if the bishop had to go home to his wife. I don't know if the bishop had other things, you know, church-related to go do. But the bishop said he had everything to do but be in that church that night waiting on Tariq to preach that long. Now, unfortunately, as you all see, Tariq basically showed his ass and started going off on the bishop, cussing the bishop out. How are you going to cuss a man out when you are the one in the wrong? So let's hear what Pastor Tariq had to say in the beginning of the video. Let's go. And don't worry about it. What I we said was here. this. What I said was this. When Pastor Tariq said, don't worry about it. We're getting out of here. But at the same time, sir, look here. If 
If you really meant that, guess what you would have did? You would have got the hell out of there and wouldn't have said anything. But sir, how are you going to sit up there and call yourself a man of God and then try to correct the bishop and then proceed at the same time to cuss the bishop out? Now, look here. We was all with you up until you started cursing. You cussing in there like a drunken sailor. And let's hear some more of what Pastor Tariq had to say on this dreadful Sunday. Let's go. You had a service. <laughs> we want to make sure we start on time one, that we don't have to rush the man and yeah. woman of God. Now, you hear the bishop say we want to start on time because we don't want to rush the woman or man of God. And that's true. Think about this also. Now, we know sometimes for people who go to church or whatnot, we know sometimes the sermon get good. We know sometimes the preachers be long winded. But at the same time, some of those sermons be real good. And it kind of like set your soul on fire. So maybe you might preach a little bit longer. But at the same time, I doubt very seriously if Pastor Tariq was bringing that smoke in there that day. But at the same time, the bishop was trying to plead with Pastor Tariq, but Pastor Tariq was trying to hear none of that. Okay, so <laughs> let me finish talking in my house. I don't give a damn about your house. God bless you, sir. Tariq. And now, family, I want you all to know one thing. I don't totally agree with everything the bishop was doing because the bishop stated in my house. No, bishop, no, bishop, no. Look here, that is God's house. The church is supposed to be for God, right? So you cannot save nobody. So at the same time, it's God's house. But I understand what you're trying to say, that it's your church. But at the same time, it's the way that you said it when you said, my house, that's not your house. That's supposed to be the house of God. Because look here, it's like this. You cannot save nobody, neither more can Pastor Tariq or Geno Genesis, anybody else that call themselves a pastor. Guess what? The only thing you can do is tell the people about the word to God, lead them to the gate. But guess what? You cannot let them in. That's between them and God. So at the same time, the church is not your house. The church is the house of God. Anyway, let's go on. I ain't trying to preach today. God bless you, sir. Tyree. That's not how you Tyree. order. Like that's, that's not the protocol. God bless Trust you, Trust and sir. believe me, I know it. And then you hear a lady in the congregation saying, Tariq, she's trying to come Tariq down, but Tariq was not trying to hear nobody. And then he's going to say, like that's, that's not the protocol. God bless Trust you, Trust and sir. believe me, I know it. That's not proper protocol. I know the protocol. So, sir, Tariq, if you know the procedure and protocol, guess what? Why didn't you abide by it? It's that simple. It's like this. It's like if you know the speed limit and the speed limit is 55 or 65, why sit up there and go 75 miles per hour? And then when the police stop and pull your ass over, you want to get mad at the cop. But at the same time, if you know the protocol, the procedure, guess what? You would have showed your ass up on time. And guess what? And would have finished on time. Because once again, like I said in the beginning of the video, who in the hell want to sit inside of a church and listen to a dry preacher preach over their time limit or whatnot? And now look here, Brother Tariq, before you get mad at me, because I already know that I have a lot of pastors mad at me, especially in North Carolina. And y'all pray for me. No pastors on my ass in North Carolina. Now, Pastor Tariq, if you see me in Philly, please don't get mad. Let's just go have a cheesesteak sandwich together and call it a day. But at the same time, sir, look here. The bishop only job was to provide the church for you. And the bishop done that. It is not the bishop fault that you showed up 45 minutes later and then want to go over the time like you run the church. But at the same time, Tariq, look here. You call yourself a man of God. You probably be a preacher. It's a proper way, like I said in the beginning of the video, a right and a wrong way to do things. The only thing you had to do when you knew that you was going to be late, when you was running late, is call the bishop. Contact the bishop and see, can you, you know, run a little bit extra. See, can you get your whole three hours in? You don't just show up at the man church and then think that you're going to call the shots. It do not work that way. Anyway, let's hear what else Tariq had to say. There are souls that are still here trying to be free. And then he had the nerve to say, family, there are souls here still trying to be free. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, that's why they go to church, you know. But at the same time, Pastor Tariq, do you think you are the one that's able to liberate those souls to help get those souls saved? Because, sir, the way that you started cussing right after this, <laughs> chances are those souls would have been doomed listening to you. So what I advise you to do, like a lot of other people, is they are trying to tell you you need to turn in your robe and also your Bible. That's a damn shame to read. They don't even want you to have your damn Bible. But at the same time, sir, don't you know what you do? Lead people away from church when you sit up there and act like that because people are like, well, why should I listen to this preacher? But at the same time, to anybody out there, because I know these churches have a bad rap right now. I know some of these churches are not doing a damn thing for the people. But at the same time, you still have good churches out there. And one good church I know for sure is Pastor Gino Jennings. I like him very much. And want to act like women more and more. Yeah. Men want to dress like women more and more. That's right. And women want to act like men. Am I 
right. But anyway, let's see what else Pastor Tariq had to say. I don't give a damn about no damn time limit. God bless you, sir. Who are you to tell God he can't do what he got to do? God bless you, sir. And then Pastor Tariq goes on to say, I don't give a damn about no time limit. Who are you to tell God to do what he got to do? That's true, Tariq. Can nobody order God or tell God to do what he got to do? But at the same time, sir, look here. Now you're talking in reference to yourself, preaching or whatnot. And the word get around when the word get to moving. But for you to act like this and start cursing right after this whole situation shows that God went in you that night, baby. That's nothing but the devil right there. And at the same time, look here. That's not how you do that. That's not proper. What we call that word? Uh, start like with decoration, decorum. That's not proper decorum to read. You know that was very distasteful for you to act like that. Anyway, let's go and close up and hear what else Pastor Tariq has to say. God bless you. And then he says it all family and says, let me get the fuck out this church in front of everybody. Loud enough where we all can hear it. Let's hear it again. God bless you. Now, sir, why would you talk like that and profess to be a man of God, profess to be a leader of the people, profess to be a shepherd? Shepherds don't talk like that, Tariq. You know who talk like that? Devils do. Anyway, let's go and close up. Because that don't make no damn sense. And you a bishop in the Lord's church? And then he had a nerd to say, family, this don't make no damn sense. Steady cussing. And then going to look and face the bishop. And then going to ask the bishop. And you supposed to be a bishop in the Lord's church. The same way he's supposed to be a bishop is the same way you're supposed to be a preacher. And what I mean by that is this right here. Is that you're supposed to carry yourself a lot better than that. But sir, how you going to sit up here and have these people following you to this church? Because he wasn't there by himself. Pastor Tariq, that is. How you going to have members of your church following you to this man church? And then you get there and you show your ass. Clearly, you are in a wrong, sir. But for some reason, you cannot see that. And it goes back to that reference in the Bible when you try to talk about the law in somebody else's eye, but you fail to see the law in your own eye, which really means, family, the problems and troubles in your own life. You can see everybody else wrong, but you cannot see the wrong in your own life. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. And also answer this for me, family. Who was wrong in this situation? Was it Pastor Tariq or was it the bishop? Because the only thing the bishop was doing was telling Tariq, God bless him. And the more... And the more that bishop told Tariq, God bless him, guess what? The more Tariq got mad that he had to get the hell up out of there. God bless you. Oh. God bless you. Oh. And like we say on the Trey King show, that's a damn, damn, damn shame. But anyway, Pastor Tariq, Bishop, if you all want to come on the Trey King show and air your difference out and pretty much, you know, let everybody know really what all went on that day, Please do so. But at the same time, Tariq, you cannot sit up here and be late and then think that a man is going to let you come in there and do what you want to do in their church and then proceed to cuss that man out after he tried to correct you. Listen here. Ain't that what pastors do? They preach and correct. So, sir, you need to be corrected. And guess what? You have been corrected today. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there if you like the video push that like button if you like the video subscribe to the channel become a channel member also share the video with your family and friends till next time you all stay blessed and i will see y'all soon on the next trey king show and guess what i'm out